So the naval combat in Assassin's Creed 3 is a huge part of our game. Uh, there's a couple of missions that are on the mainline path when you acquire the boat and some pivotal moments of history like the Battle of Chesapeake Bay. Uh, but then you have a few hours of side content that you can engage in when you want. Uh, so there's a variety, there's a, a narrative thread that you can go through and chase your nemesis on the sea. Uh, there's also a bunch of privateer missions where you can go out and just basically engage in freeform combat uh, and other tasks. So uh, it's a huge part of our game, but it's uh, mostly optional. You're going to get a really satisfying conclusion out of this. Um, it's a standalone game in a sense, like newcomers to the series are going to get an introduction that gets them up to speed on where we are. Um, and it, it's a whole package in itself, uh, but I, I can't tell you how it's going to end or how the, the you know, the apocalypse is going to factor into it or whether or not it's going to factor into it. Desmond is going to return, he's more important than ever. Uh, but yeah, you're going to be there, you're going to be playing as him and you're going to be doing stuff that you've never done with him before. We tried at some point uh, a scalping mechanic um, and we found that it, you know, it really didn't feed the character of Connor and when we were talking to our Mohawk consultants uh, it was something that they didn't really do that often. Um, so, you know, giving that to the player and having like this really brutal, horrible moment where, uh, you know, it's all incredibly messy and, and barbaric in a sense, you know, it, it's right on the boundaries of, of uh, what we wanted to provide to the player. So, you know, we tried it out, we built it, uh, and, you know, when we were playing it, we realized, you know, hey, this doesn't really fit into our game, so we're going to take it out. There are a couple of people that you do have to assassinate that will be British, um, uh, but you won't be only assassinating Brits. Uh, and we've also built a lot of uh, non-lethal ways of taking out uh, opponents. Uh, so if you use your fists in the game, you'll knock people out and leave them uh, essentially rolling around uh, agonizing. Um, you can also use your poison darts, which are sleeper darts now. Um, so they'll make people sort of like get drunk and then just fall down and pass out. Uh, uh, so we have different ways of playing non-lethally, which will give you more options about how to approach. So in the early stage of the game, uh, if you want to avoid conflict or, or uh, only take out the critical targets, that's totally uh, up to you. It's coming out October 31st on the PlayStation and Xbox, a uh, couple weeks later on the PC and the Wii U when, it, when it's announced.